I'm sure a lot of you beginner traders as well as new thinking about becoming a trader are asking what is leverage and what does it do? So I'm going to briefly explain what leverage is. Quite simply, leverage is buying power or to make it more simple, it's money borrowed from a broker so that you enter a trade. Now, keep in mind that leverage is a double-edged sword. I would explain and elaborate a little bit further down. I'm counting on you. What does leverage do? First and foremost, it allows you to enter a trade with a smaller equity. Second of all, it gives you higher profits, but also it gives you higher losses. Double-edged sword, as I said before. Kind of cuts both ways. You just never know. Another good thing about the leverage is it allows you to enter bigger size contracts, whereas before you couldn't. Now, you might ask yourself, why do I need leverage? Why do I need to borrow money? These are all good questions. And here's the answer. In order to enter a trade that includes currencies, commodities, stocks or securities, you have to have a certain amount of money and that is usually a big amount of money. With leverage, you don't need that. Now, let's assume that you do have the amount of money, yet your return would be small. And I will give you an example. Let's imagine that you have a thousand dollars or a thousand pounds or a thousand euros and you decide to buy a painting. Now, the following day, the price of the painting increases into 50 cents. It would take you, give or take, 2,000 days to match your money back. That is five years, 0.4, almost five and a half years to get your money back. I'm afraid I'll become old. Now, let's assume that with the same amount of money, you were able to buy five of those paintings. As you can understand, here's the profits. Now, as I said before, that leverage is a double-edged sword. It means that the same exact profits can also result in the same exact losses. So that's why it makes it a double-edged sword. And since every other form of investment trading carries a lot of risk, leverage can actually add up to that risk. So keep that in mind. Now, due to the risk involved, especially with leverage products, certain brokers require a certain amount of money held in cash as a collateral. That is called the margin. And what is the margin for those who don't know? Margin, it's a portion of money or an amount of money reserved for a trade. Once again, this is Neil from Fondex. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos. See ya.